Equal Patch Insulin Pump System Operation Guide. Equal Patch Insulin Pump System help you enjoy a better life. 1. How to assemble the pump? First, prepare all of the required items. The patch pump, portable diabetes assistant TDA, a fully charged pump battery, pump base, reservoir, cannula, cannula inserter, fast-acting or short-acting insulin, alcohol wipe. Remove the new reservoir from the packaging. Use an alcohol pad to clean the insulin vial and then attach it to the fill adapter. With the insulin vial on top, slowly pull the pull rod and draw insulin into the reservoir. Remove the insulin vial. Tap the side of the reservoir to encourage any air bubbles to rise to the top of the reservoir. Push the pull rod slowly to eject the bubbles and make sure there are no air bubbles. Pull the two release tabs away from the reservoir to release the fill adapter. Remove the pull rod by unscrewing it counterclockwise. Now attach the reservoir and battery to the pump. Always install a fully charged battery with a newly filled reservoir. Be sure that the battery is inserted in the correct orientation. 2. How to set up the infusion set? Choose an appropriate place for the infusion set. The stomach is preferred. Followed by the upper arm, the lateral thigh, the lower back, and buttocks. Disinfect the infusion site using an alcohol wipe. Starting from the injection point, wipe in a circular motion from the inside out until you have made a circle of at least five centimeters in diameter. Do not allow anything to touch the infusion site while it dries naturally. Remove the pump base from its packaging. Remove the adhesive liner and place the base on the infusion site. Open the cannula pack as indicated on the packaging. Push the cannula assembly into the cannula inserter until the cannula assembly is in the cocked position and you hear two click sounds. You should see that the cannula assembly is connected firmly to the inserter and the inserter is stable in the cocked position. Remove the protective sleeve. Align the front end of the inserter to the base as shown. Press down until you hear a click. Now press the two opposing release buttons, orange, on inserter at the same time and the cannula will be inserted into the base. Release the inserter from the pump base by pressing the button near the bottom of the inserter. If the introducer needle or needle hub remains on the cannula, carefully remove it from the infusion site. If the needle remains in the inserter, place the protective sleeve back onto the needle hub. Firmly push the top of the inserter to eject the needle hub and dispose of properly. 3. How to set up the pump. 1. PDA Settings Wizard Turn on the PDA by pressing the power button. The first time you turn on the PDA, you will see the Settings Wizard, which will guide you through basic setup options. After entering the Settings Wizard, you will be presented with the Time and Date Setup screen. Recommend to choose 24 hours. The second screen in the Settings Wizard shows the basic basal settings. Include the maximum basal rate setting, base basal rate setting, 
temporary basal rate setting. You can modify the default values as needed. Choose Next to enter the basic bolus settings. Include the bolus increment, maximus bolus, extended bolus. You can modify the default values as needed. After finished, choose Next to enter the advanced bolus settings. The quick bolus function allows the user to administer a bolus using only button. This feature is turned on with one U by default. The bolus calculator can help the user decide on the size of a bolus by taking into account blood glucose levels and other parameters. Choose next to enter the alert options. The low reservoir alert threshold setting, the auto off. You can modify the default values as needed. Choose finish. Two. Connect pump with PDA. Enter the new pump serial number in the space provided using the on-screen keyboard. Press the back button to exit the keyboard and press continue. The PDA will attempt to connect to the new pump. After the new pump has been activated, the PDA will show a confirmation screen. Press the prime reservoir button. The plunger will begin to move slowly. Continue to press the button until you see a drop of insulin on the needle tip. Now press continue. Connect the pump to the infusion set and press continue. Now choose whether or not to prime the cannula. 3. Base Basal Rate Press the button to add a new basal time period. After editing is complete, the base ray time will automatically be divided into multiple time periods. Press the Change Basal Program Name button to open the Change Name dialog box. Change to the desired name. After you have completed editing the basal program, press Save Settings to save and exit the basal edit screen. From the home screen, press the basal function button to enter the basal screen. Select the correct basal program by choosing the correct tab. 4. Bolus 1. Manual boluses From the home screen, choose the bolus button to enter the bolus screen. Choose the bolus button in the upper left corner to open the dialog box. Choose your bolus size and press OK. While the pump is delivering, the PDA will revert to the home screen and display the bolus status. 2. Bolus Presets The bolus screen contains three programmable preset boluses. You can set up each of the three present boluses. They are empty by default. Press the button to open the preset dialog box. Edit the parameters to create a new preset and you can change the name. 3. Extended Boluses From the home screen, choose the bolus button to enter the bolus screen and then enter bolus amount. Press Extend Bolus to open the Extend Bolus window. Choose the Start button to begin to administer the bolus. A confirmation window will open to confirm the amount. Choose OK to confirm and the PDA will send a command to the pump to start delivery. While the pump is delivering, the PDA will revert to the home screen and display the bolus status. 4. Quick Boluses Press and hold the bolus button on the patch pump. The pump will give an audible alert which indicates that you can enter a quick bolus amount. With each subsequent button press, the bolus size will increase by a predetermined increment. This increment can be set in the settings menu. Also, every time you press the Enter Select button, you will hear a beep from the pump to confirm that you have pressed the button. Each time you press the button, the tone will ascend in pitch up to 5. After you have set the correct bolus amount, Wait for three seconds, and the pump will repeat the audible tones back to you to confirm the correct number of bolus increments. 
If the number of tones is correct, press the pump button one last time and the bolus will be administered. 4. How to replace the patch pump. Slide the white button on the top of the reservoir and remove the pump from pump base. Peel up one end of the tape and continue to peel away from the skin until the entire infusion set has been removed. From the home screen of the PDA, choose the Actions button and then the New Pump button to enter the new pump wizard. Separate the used reservoir from the pump. Dispose of the old reservoir and then assemble a filled reservoir and battery to the pump. Press Continue to go to the next page. When replacing pump base and the cannula, the patient should pay attention to the replacement of the implanted site. The large rotation and small rotation can be used to avoid repeated use of the same injection point in one month to give the skin sufficient recovery time. Large rotation, rotation between different injection areas, such as from the abdomen, upper arm, thigh, hip rotation. Small rotation, rotation in the same injection area. The abdominal injection site can be divided into four areas. The thigh or buttock can be divided into two areas. Use one area every week and always rotate clockwise. 5. PDA Assisted Function Testing Blood Glucose If the display is on, insert an Xactive EQ test strip and the blood glucose meter screen will appear. Measuring blood glucose is the same as usual method. Your blood glucose level is automatically saved to history upon leaving the BG meter function.